Okay, right. today we are working on special triangles. Now we're not talking special like your older brother calls you special. I mean math special. This one specifically is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Called that because we have 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. If you're working in radians, which some of you may be, this is pi over 6 radians. Now, working in radians, ignore that. This one is pi over 3. And this one happens to be pi over 2. So if you're not working in radians, ignore that. Now, when working with the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the length of the sides are always a direct ratio to the other sides. So we take the short uh, side, short leg, which is on the opposite side from the 30 degree, we're going to give it a length of 1. Actually, I should do this in blue. Length of 1. The hypotenuse, which is on the far side from the 90 degree angle, we're going to give it a length of 2. It's always going to be like that. The short leg is always going to be half the length of the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always going to be twice the length of the short leg on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and it, would, it will never change. This last side, if we were to do... Pythagoras theorem, this would be root 3. Very easy to remember. 1, 2, root 3. You just got to remember where to get them. What you should always remember is the longest side is going to be the hypotenuse. 2 is longer than root 3. In fact, root 3 is only 1.73. So, 2 has to be the longest one. Hey, right, how do we use this? Well, give me one minute. Take this over to a new page. Tuck it into a little smaller size because we don't we just need to be able to read it. Let's assume we are given another triangle. We know this one is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So it's got a 90 degree corner in one. They tell us 30 degrees. Tell us the side 60. Now if we are told that this one side has a length of 5, but we don't know that one. It has a length of x. And we want to find out what it is. Well, it's really not that hard to figure out using a ratio and our special triangle. What do we do? We start putting like sides together. We want to find out x. Now, the same side in our special triangle is going to be the hypotenuse on the other one, on this on our one. So, on our hypotenuse, and you know we've got that one, it's the same length, same side as that one is the hypotenuse. So, what we do? We write 2 equals x. Well, now 2 doesn't equal x yet. We're not done yet, so we're going to put the bottom half. Now we take the side we do know. We know the short leg. So we're, And it's going to be the same leg as that one right there. So we know the short leg has a length of 1. On our triangle... We know the short length has a leg, a leg of 5. So 2 equals x. 2 is the same side as x. 1 equals 5. 1 is the same length of 5. Now that we've got this, we can cross multiply to solve for x. So we do x times 1 and 2 times 5. So it looks like 1 times x equals 2 times 5. Well, 1 times x, we can just write x. 2 times 5 gives me 10. I now know how long that, leg, that last leg is. That last leg is 10. And that's our answer. We're done with any one of the sides.